Hey what's up guys welcome back Huawei did some magic with the P20 Pro especially with the camera and they are going to do it once more with the P30 so let's just compare the new P30 Pro with the last year's flagship model P20 Pro as per the design the Huawei P20 Pro looks really cool from the back the gradient color is awesome but as soon as we flip the phone this looks like it's from 2017 It's an okayish sized notch with a huge chin. The chin has a fingerprint scanner so it does have some usability but it completely destroys the looks. The newer version has a water droplet style notch and the bottom bezel has also been reduced because now they are using in display fingerprint scanner. In these renders the chin looks a little bit bigger than the Galaxy S10 but remember these are renders. The real one might even look better. Overall this is a 2017 design for 2019. I'm not saying that it's bad or anything. just that they could have done better well i can't say the same for the camera huawei has one of the best cameras out there it has been on the top of the dxo mark for about a year the galaxy s10 which came a year after the p20 pro just matched the 109 dxo mark which the p20 pro set a year ago so believe me when i say huawei knows how to do a camera properly and they also have leica i don't know what exactly leica does for huawei they say fine tuned by leica but what does fine tune even mean For all we know, Huawei just paid Leica to get the name. But still, this camera will totally blow your mind. Huawei is heavily invested on the zoom features of this camera. Huawei posted this teaser which shows the zoom capabilities, and also they posted this image of the moon, and this is probably the best zoom available on a phone. And if we also look down here, we can definitely see the P20 Pro stamp and also Leica quad cameras. So it confirms that there are four cameras. We really should not worry about the cameras being bad. Huawei has proven that they know how to make a smartphone camera. The other specs will be mostly like the Mate 20, 6.1 inches display, Kirin 980, 8GB RAM, 128GB storage, Android Pie, probably a big battery like 4200 mAh, and all the bells and whistles from the Mate 20, which we really don't want to get in the detail. This would probably be the phone to go for camera lovers, but there's one thing: higher DXO mark doesn't mean anything. Cameras of all the flagships have come so close. that a little bit better zoom should not really affect your decision and if someone is a real and dedicated photographer then there's a chance that he already has a DSLR the launch is going to be happening on 26th of march in paris so we'll see what happens let me know would you buy the P30 pro over something simpler like the galaxy s10 or the iphone personally i will go for the galaxy s10 plus do subscribe for more videos like if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out